CSGO trade-ups are a lot more promising than you might think at first glance, and a lot less random than you may think as well. A man named Mr. Powick is living proof of this. In 2021, he made over $13,000 off of CSGO trade-ups alone, and as you can see by his cumulative profit trend, this clearly wasn't a few lucky trade-ups. This was consistent profit, and even with a ton of risk being involved, he manipulated it to such a way that it's a way to make tons of money consistently, and literally anybody can do it. So in today's video, let's talk about how this is possible and how you can make thousands off of trade-ups. So as always, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new, and quickly, before we get into it, be sure to check out my sponsor, Skimport. Skimport is a CSGO skin marketplace with over 300,000 skins where you can find some insane discounts and save a ton of money buying CSGO skins or doing trade-ups. For example, if you're looking for skins for an operation trade-up, the 5-7 berries and cherries sells from the 5-7 berries and cherries sells from $3 to $6 less on Skimport than on the Steam market, and that's gonna add up and save you a ton of money when it comes to trade-ups and also. If you're looking to sell skins for real money, Skimport only has a 6% selling fee on items over $1,000 and 12% on items under $1,000. So start saving money on trade-ups and just buying skins in general with Skimport today with that link in the description. But for now, let's get right into the video. So in this video, I want to give some tips on how to actually find profitable trade-ups and what you should be looking for, certain items you should be looking for specifically as well to actually make a profit. And I want to start with skins that are either really overpriced or expensive compared to skins of the same rarity. For example, trade-ups to the AK Slate from the Snakebite collection can be really good. Like, this thing is double the price of most of the other purples in the Snakebite case, especially in stat track variations. An absolute ton of people want this skin, so it's worth a lot more than the others in the same collection. So looking for trade-ups for something like this is really good. And if you could find a profitable one and constantly repeat it, hitting that AK slate is going to make you a lot of money. But another good example of this is trading up to M4A1S skins currently, which I've covered in some of my past few videos. They're incredibly high in price right now since everybody switched back over from the M4A4 after the buff, so now everybody wants A1S play skins. And because of that, you can make a lot of money with trade-ups to the A1S skins right now because they've a lot of them have doubled in price and that's going to lead you to have a lot higher chances of profit as well. Also, just in case you guys don't know what a trade-up calculator is, these are necessary websites to help you calculate price, float value, and odds of hitting the skins you want. Powerx says that he uses Tradeups by, and that's my favorite trade-up site as well. Once again, just shows you odds of each skin, the price of each skin, and the average float values you would need to get each skin in each condition. So it's going to help you out an absolute ton with trade-ups. It is absolutely necessary if you want to find the correct float values to get the condition of the skin you want, and if you want to find out if something is profitable. And another cool snippet on Tradeups by is that they actually have a section on their website called Hot Tradeups, which gives you pretty much guaranteed profit examples of trade-ups that you can very easily do and repeat. And you'll have really good odds to make profit and smaller odds to break even or lose like two cents. But either way, you have really good odds. And a lot of them range in values as well. So they're really good for anybody. Like a couple of them are below $2 and then there's like a $30 one right now. So you can pretty much find anything you want. And if you don't use those, you could use them as, I guess, inspiration to find other trade-ups as well. And look at the keys you need to actually find a successful trade-up. But now let's talk about float values for a bit because they're the absolute key to trade-ups. You're going to need really low float skins a lot of time to find the correct average float to make a profit. So what are some tools to do that? Well, a must need tool if you're looking on the Steam market for skins is going to be a Google Chrome add-on called the CSGO Float Market Checker. I've been using this thing for years and it's incredibly helpful. It shows you extra details about skins such as Doppler faces, stickers, and of course, most importantly, float. So you don't have to scroll through hundreds of skins and inspect them in game one by one to see if they're the correct float value for your trade up. You can also sort by low to high floats and high to low. So if you're looking for something specific, that is the best way to do it, especially on the Steam market. And it is a necessary tool once again, if you want to buy skins on the Steam market. So next up, I want to talk about how to get more bang for your buck if you're trying to get skins on Steam or just can't find the correct float values or skins on third-party sites. 
with practically the entire CSGO market increasing in price right now, this is going to help you out more as well if you're looking for low tier trade up skins because they haven't increased as much as the, I guess, higher tier skins, things that could be classified as play skins. But for example, if you want extra money on Steam instead of just dumping five to ten dollars in your Steam wallet, you can go to Skimport. Find a liquid skin that's easy to sell or just a skin that's listed for a really cheap price because someone just wanted to get rid of it and then could wait a few extra days if it's a skin people don't really want or is hard to sell but could make some extra money with it. Either way, buy it on Skimport and then sell that on the Steam market. Like for example, you could buy this AK Redline for $11.66 on Skimport, then look on the Steam market, see Redlines are selling for about $15 each and after tax you'd make an extra dollar and a half which might not seem like that much, but if you're using that for trade-ups, that's a lot of money saved. But if you're doing a ton of trade-ups, it'll save you money. And it also works a lot better with more expensive skins and more expensive trade-ups. And can be used if you want to just buy like a $60 game on Steam for under $60. Either way, it has a lot of uses and you get the point. You save money, especially over time if you constantly repeat it. But the final thing that I want to cover is that trade-up contracts are not guaranteed profit by themselves if you just do one, but if you find the correct ones to do, over time you will make money. Like here are some more of Mr. Powick's stats. Note that a third of these trade-ups are stat tracks, so don't just be completely focused on normal skins, but also his loss to profit on trade-ups is about 50-50. 50% of the time he's doing a trade-up, he isn't making money, and he still made 13 grand, so it's not like he's absurdly lucky, he's just not. But finding trade-ups that earn you a lot more money for hitting the best items and lose you a little money for hitting the bad items is going to be your goal, which sounds obvious, but at the same time, you don't want these incredibly risky trade-ups, which like, you either gain 500 or lose 500, because if you lose $500, well, you're in a bit of a hole there. But once again, what I really mean by this is like what I said at the beginning of the video. Look for certain skins that are really overpriced compared to other skins of the same rarity, then crunch out the numbers for other skins that are really cheap and hope for the best. Then just rinse and repeat when you find something good, constantly make profit on it and then you'll actually have some money to play with and you could move on to other trade-up contracts that you find profitable. But yeah. Overall, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video, so hopefully this helps you guys on your quest to make 5 figures a year off trade-ups alone. But for now, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video, so as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.